you know, where has the room tour been? It's finally here. Let's get it started, shall we? All right, first of all, here's the entrance. This is what I look at before I leave for work every day. First, we got Friday the 13th Part 2 up here. Three, Mask from Three, and the final chapter. Little tribute there. Then we have a terrible towel here, Steeler Nation. Little axe I got here, just, I don't know. Just to have it. And then a Black Witchery flag that came with the Revenge Split. Uh, the Black Witchery Revenge Split. And then a little Profanatica pin right here that we found at MDF last year. That was lucky. And then a Raped God 666 flag right here. And then we go on to the CDs. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this already in the first part of the CD collection. But then there's some stickers there. See if we can pan through them. <laughs> there's some more there. Yeah, just in case you guys are curious what stickers I have. Jess knows as well as I do. <laughs> Love them goddamn stickers. Alright, and then this is the other CD tower. I have some banners here. I'll show you guys those later. But, um, yeah, here's one. I had a big poster there. That's why it's kind of empty, but I'll fill it up soon. Let's move to the other side. There you go. Yeah, a lot of stickers there. And then uh, here's a little... Bathory flag, it's in the worst position ever. <laughs> <laughs> Young Ling, or Ying Ling, whatever, my favorite East Coast beer. And then some two banners here, Death and Dissection. Some Maryland Death Fest wristbands. I plan to just have whatever, ow, whichever ones I go to, just have them there. Then this is the entertainment spot. I think you guys have seen this before. Uh, yeah, just some movies there. And uh, How I Met Your Mother, even though it's weird that I like this show, but yeah, I do. <laughs> A uh, little picture here when we went to Fenway Park. Yeah, it's not bad, not bad. Love Boston, very good city if you guys want to visit it. And here is the main attraction. This is a little bench, by the way, that I recorded, <laughs> if you guys are wondering. Uh, but yeah, this is the vinyl right here. And so far, I'm right here, so I still have to show you guys all of this. So yeah, I just need to show you guys that. Here's a little Master's Hammer tote bag I took to Maryland Death Fest. Not a lot of help, but there and then here's all the other stuff uh Steelers zombie bobblehead it takes place in Pittsburgh Pennsylvania Night of the Living Dead so I had to get that then a little Red Sox ball right there Star Wars trilogy untouched digitally mastered by George Lucas Oscar my arena whistle <laughs> <laughs> uh little Bart Simpson figure I got at work uh, from a co-worker four years ago little kiss Pez thing a little Viking statue I got from a friend Lego Vader, and then some Clerks humor there for you guys. 37. Hopefully, hopefully you guys get that. Napalm Death Box set. I can't wait to show you guys what's in here. I bet most of you know what this is from, but I um, hope you guys don't spoil it in the comments. But if you do, oh well. Star Wars poster here. Revenge from the Black and Witchery Revenge Split. And then we have the Tortured Souls up here, which is badass. I mean, um, this unfortunately never got... Um, approved for like a movie. Clive Parker wanted to make it a movie but he didn't. So that sucks but that's my favorite one. Venal Anatomica. Hopefully you guys are fans too but you know whatever. And here is the vinyl setup. Here's the uh, Audio Technica ATLP60. Pretty standard thing. I mean here's the speakers. Um, then I have some books down here. I know it's a little messy down there. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> then we have some box sets there but I want to show you guys that later. Um, and then let's move on to the flags. So we have another Revenge one here that I got in New York uh, when I went to see him with Mayhem and uh, who was it? Mayhem and Batane. Oh shit, I don't know why I blanked out <laughs> on that. Darth Vader here repping the yellow and gold, the black and gold sarcophago flag here by Patchmaster and then this new one up here, Wergoat. Pretty cool, rounding out of space as you can see, but oh well. Then this Bestia Warless one. Oh, oh shit, so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Yeah, the best you wore less also by Thomas. And then, uh, yeah, let's move on to that side, I guess. Okay. All right. And then, this is the lamp I used to record the videos with, in case you guys are wondering that. Then, uh, here's my favorite banner I own. Oh, shit, I thought that was going to fall over. Celtic Frost and Megatheron. Of course, again, by Thomas Mandelis. That guy on Facebook is the shit. It's going to make me broke one day. But, yeah, it's, this is the flag. If I didn't have any flags, I could only keep one. It'd be this one. Gotta love Tom G. And then uh, this is one of the newest ones I got. Arch Goat, Funeral Party of Trinity. And then three more Star Wars little mini posters. Star Wars fan, I don't know if you can tell. 
And then Watain Disciple number 454. Not bad. And then here, the Chihuahuas, a little minor league <laughs> baseball team we have here. And then this is a little peace pipe I got on eBay just for fun. This is the Davy Crockett hat I got when I went to San Antonio. And actually, I think that's it, you guys. We are done, as far as I can tell. But yeah, that's the room of Goro Stern. Not too big, not too small. So, pause. But anyway, <laughs> thanks a bunch for watching, you guys. Thanks a lot for the questions. The Q&A was great. Uh, so, might do one soon. Uh, but yeah, just keep watching. I'm going to do a vinyl video soon. So, the room tour is done, finally. I'm sorry it took so long. But anyways, thanks for tuning in, guys.